Tomorrow, a major Vatican summit led by the Pope is being held on sexual, uh, on the sexual abuse crisis facing the Catholic Church. It follows a string of allegations in different parts of the world against the clergy. Ahead of this summit, members of SNAP, the survivors of clergy sexual abuse by priests, are holding uh, today a news conference in Rome. Uh, well, I'm joined now to talk about this a little bit more by Esther Hatfield uh, Miller, one of the campaigners who's in Rome uh, for uh, today's press conference. Good morning. Uh, to Ms Miller. Thanks very much for being with us on the programme and for talking to us. Um, now I just wonder from your own perspective, from your own experience, whether you think a summit like this uh, is a positive thing, whether it might be able to bring uh, you and, and, and survivors of, of sexual abuse peace or some form of closure. Well, actually, you know, with SNAP, we are the largest and oldest uh, self-support group survivors network around. And so one of the things we're always looking to do is to seek out others who have not spoken up, others who are too afraid to raise their hand and say, yes, me too. Um, and so we are interested in promoting the healing of victims prevention of future abuse, of course, and definitely accountability for all those abusers, and especially to cover it up. So um, it, it's a double-edged sword. And we can share the experience of this horrific crime, but also seek hope and healing. Mm. How confident are you that the church is going to do enough during this, con this conference to change canon law so that this can't happen, this sort of abuse can't happen in the future? One of the things that we're always always seeking is especially in civil litigation is the release of the documents and so when the church takes action and not just issues words and not just praise for us victims but actually takes action and releases the secret archive files it is highly beneficial for the entire community so we can see the um the cover-up we can see who knew we can see what was done we can see the actions that they did not take and uh, then we can actually get reform mm. and reform is one thing but also holding to account those people uh, who perpetrated abuse uh, is another thing what would you then like to see i mean is it right that the vatican itself should be presiding over this sort of conference or should external legal forces be at work here well, we know that the church is not able to self-regulate. That's been proven through church history, right? And this is not a new uh, crisis for the church. This is something that continues on and on and on. So we suggest that we demand that they fire the prelates, anybody who knew, anybody who covered up. Um, that's, that's paramount. And then to have uh, punitive consequences for those prelates who covered up the abuse. Um, there must must be a zero tolerance, poli zero tolerance, tolerance policy, just like there is zero, zero tolerance for the abuse. So the zero tolerance is for the cover up as well as the abuse. And then we're actually demanding uh, not only that they turn over any and all the files, these cases are reported to law enforcement, outside law enforcement, because we know that the church is not able to self regulate. Mm. Uh, this is, we should say, the first time that the Catholic Church is coming together uh, to confront openly the issue of, of child sexual abuse within, uh, within the Catholic Church. Uh, do you think, with Pope Francis having spoken out about this issue uh, before, that that's enough to break what has previously been a code of silence within the Church? There still remains a code of silence. Uh, th those are the basic precepts of uh, ordination for these prelates. And so, you know, they need to cease lobbying efforts as well against any legislative reform. We need statutes of limitations to, to be reformed, to be able to bring forth civil litigation, because that's ultimately the three C's of advocacy, care, compassion, and concern for, for any victim of this crime. And we know this is a crime against humanity.